guys, Eric here from Cheap Ass Reviews, and this week we're going to be talking about the Vilmi couch from Ikeepa. So yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so before we get too deep into the review of the couch, let me boil down the story of how it came into our lives in 10 seconds or less. Wow, that was really fast, but also very adequate. Uh, let me know down in the comments down below if you want to see a 20 minute vlog of the whole couch buying experience next time we buy a couch. And stick around to the end of the video if you want to see how we finance this couch. Just kidding about the vlog, I'm never leaving this apartment again. Why? Because once you sit on the couch, you're not going to want to get up. It's that comfortable. It really does strike the perfect balance between support and comfort or so says Vilmi Ikeepa magazine. If you want to check out buying options for the Vilmi, check out the video description. I've left links to um, the product page down there, so go ahead and check it out. The wife and I decided to go for the two cushion love seat option, partly because we just didn't have any space, but also because it was a much cheaper option. Coming in at $4.99 pre-tax, we were like, okay, and we opted for the Gunner Red Medium Gray. Marketing. I'm not gonna lie, it was really easy to pick a color. Even though you have nine to choose from, we were like, no, uh, gonna red medium gray, please. This will cause some of you to have a severe FOMO attack, but YOLO, so push up those Warby Parker shades and don't be cray cray, just pick the gray. About a month after we bought the couch, we decided we were worth it and we bought the Vilmi Ottoman with storage for $160. Perfect for our feet, we love putting them up there, but after tax, we were in for $725. It hurt. You see, money is hard to get and furniture is expensive. No one in their right mind likes that. Sure, Ikeepa is a little more affordable, but they still take your money. They even got their namesake, Ikeepa, because they take a good chunk of your hard-earned cash. They keepa that money. This happens every time you enter their store, but sometimes that's just what you gotta do. So yeah, back to the Vilmi. How is it to build this thing? Building the Vilmi is like building anything else from Ikeepa. The directions are weird and vague. There's a guy in the instructions and he's dropping stuff. It's confusing at best and frustrating at worst. Then there's this sociopath. Eventually you finish the piece and you're proud of your work. Don't be. I made the mistake of watching the primitive technology round hut video right after finishing my couch and it really put me to shame. Find me in the comment section of that video, guys. You probably wanna see the couch. Here it is. Gray, straight lines, some not so straight, vintage modern craftsmen. Only comment I have about the ottoman is that besides being huge, it keeps my wife's clod hoppers off of me most nights. So how did we buy this couch? Well, we've been paying our taxes all year to Uncle Sam and overpaying a little bit. So the US Treasury cut us a check for the difference. I probably should have told you guys that at the beginning of the video. So thanks Uncle Sam for returning my money. It's my money and this is my couch. I'll see you next Thursday.